April 7th uh, election in Chicago is uh, very important, it will have an impact on uh, where the Democratic Party goes. I believe what you've seen in the country, in New York, uh, in uh, New Jersey, and now in Chicago, is a rejection of a corporate agenda that Democrats have been following for some time that doesn't address the needs uh, of ordinary people, uh, of working people, of poor people, even of many middle class voters who feel that the party is not fighting for them, that the move toward privatization in so many aspects is keeping them uh, confined, uh, limiting their uh, economic mobility, making things like retirement uh, less certain, uh, making uh, being able to pay for their children's education, for college in the future. The indebtedness of students who are uh, pursuing higher education is forcing the Democratic Party to rethink about its pact with a, an agenda that is largely rooted in, uh, in, in corporate interests in America. And that uh, agenda doesn't address uh, making everyone uh, more prosperous or opening up uh, avenues of opportunity for higher education, for good paying jobs, or for health care. And those are essential things for people all over the country. Chicago is a city that's worked for a select few, especially over the past four years. Uh, Rahm Emanuel has catered to the interest of the rich and the powerful in Chicago. Uh, the people that have benefited most from administration have been cronies. Uh, they've been people who are who come from the investment banking world. They're individuals who are major developers in Chicago. They're the individuals that have benefited directly from property tax dollars paid by hardworking Chicagoans. It's also known as corporate welfare, that there is a clear pay to play uh, practice in Chicago. Pay to play is what sent at least two governors from Illinois to jail. Uh, it is alive and well in the city of Chicago. My approach to dealing with the city's finances, which includes opening the books to show taxpayers the true state of the city's uh, financial situation. Uh, two, uh, to conduct independent uh, audits of the city's finances, of the Chicago Public Schools finances, the two largest taxing bodies that people receive when they get their tax bills, uh, is what they're concerned about. My commitment to ending the uh, favoring of the wealthy and powerful interests with taxpayer subsidies will end. That's really the cry that you hear and the critics who say that I don't have a plan. Uh, the fear that they have is that we will make the wealthy and powerful pay their fair share of taxes in whatever forms they get. I will end corporate welfare uh, for the privileged in Chicago. Uh, we will move toward a city that has a guiding principle of equity across the board uh, and a city that will uh, receive the type of attention and energy that uh, is required of the mayor that wants to lead a city to make the city sustainable and more equitable for all. The city is desperately in need of uh, a new direction, a new set of priorities, uh, a government that is headed by someone that is going to uh, be in tune with Chicago's neighborhoods with uh, working people and someone who will fight to ensure that the city is uh, bringing prosperity uh, to everyday Chicagoans, to working class people in the city. Uh, we need to end the tale of two cities. We cannot continue to have a vibrant central business district and neighborhoods that have been left behind. The prosperity, the type of prosperity that we see in the city center uh, needs to be seen and felt by people in the neighborhoods.